far is Brazil? That's a long way, Stevie. We're across the world. Is it as far as Amarillo? Yeah, further. Why are our bulls going to Brazil? Well, because we sold them to a rancher down there. What's keeping that brother of yours? Well, I couldn't say. He's probably talking to Jim Rogers from the bank. I hope nothing's gone wrong. Oh, Sam will make out. You say I'm short $350, huh? That's the size of it, Sam, for your steamship fare. Freight comes high on those bulls. Everything else is all right, though, huh? Yep. You to pull out in 32 minutes. Where's Barney and the kids? Oh, they're down there looking after the bulls. Well, Miss Money! Are you sure you got your passport? Yeah. And the health certificate on the bulls. Yeah. I got my shots, too. <laughs> Hey, Jim, I don't suppose your bank would loan me another $350, then? No. Sam, you know darn well I'd like to. We've given you $2,000 now without any collateral. Well, we've already sold the bulls for $25,000. Yeah, and you've got to take them 10,000 miles before you collect the money. It'd be hard enough explaining that $2,000 to my directors. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll tell you what I'll do, Sam. I'll loan you the money myself. No. This is this is business, Jim. I don't want any any uh, any personal debts. Well, what are you fixing to do then? Hey, Jim, how old is that son of yours? Fifteen next month. When are you gonna buy him a horse? <laughs> I've been thinking about it. Why? Well, you ought to get him a good one. Well, sure I would. Ever seen that cow pony of mine? No, I don't think so. Come here, man. He's got good blood in him, from the Jamison Quarter Horse Common Chero. Hey, he's sure nice looking. Yeah, good little horse. I raised him from a colt. He's yours for three fifty. You sure you want to sell him? You can't get sentimental about a saddle horse. Well, you've made yourself a deal. I'll give you three seventy-five. Three fifty. Three seventy-five. That'll just give you twenty-five bucks eating money. <laughs> Twisted my arm. Right out of check. I've got to get into town and do some shopping. Everything all right? You bet. Where'd you get the money? I went in a crap game. Oh. Got a present for you, Sarah. Oh, Sam. Go ahead, open it up. Are you, Sarah? Are you done? Put it on. What did you got? Yeah, that looks real pretty. It sure does. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Uncle Sam. You bet you, darling. It all seems funny. Man works all his life and winds up with three bulls. Winds up with the finest strain of rum in Texas. $25,000 ain't bad. You know, if that boat sinks, we'll all go on relief. The boat ain't gonna sink. I'm gonna deliver the bulls and come back with the money. What are you saying to that man? Like I'm supposed to deliver the bulls to you? Uh, Barbosa. Barbosa, yeah. All right, here we go. So long, Barney. Take care of yourself, brother. So long, Steve. Bye-bye, Sarah. Bye, Sam. Take care of your mom, huh? Watch yourself in that jungle. Bye-bye, son. Sure, your agent has a cattle car waiting, huh? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you act like that man of war in that hole. And I got 15 years of work there. 800 miles by rail, with another 150 over the wildest country on earth, Meta Grossa. Think those beauties of yours will make it? Brahmas are tough, that's why the ranchers buy them. Well, cheer up. They say it's good cattle country. You might wind up staying. What, me? No, no, sir. 
that money, my brother and I'll make a down payment on a section and start an outfit of our own. Big country, Brazil. Maybe you know him. His name's Barbosa. No, no, sure. for a man named Barbosa. Then maybe you can help me? Why not? Hi. See, I'm looking for a man named Barbosa. No. You don't know him, huh? Ah, well, thanks. Thanks, anyway. You sure you don't know Barbosa? You know Barbosa? What's the matter with everybody around here? Why you ask everything for Barbosa, senor? That's my business. I, Manuel, might help. If I like. I have a business deal with him. Business of the bulls? What do you know about the bulls? I know many things, many secrets. But I never tell secrets. And where Barbosa is, that's a secret too, huh? Small secret, no important. Everybody know what is Barbosa. But you. How about taking me to him? I think I like you. I take you to him. Short distance. Come. You have the match? is the interest in the bulls. Watch your drink. Um, how about some American beer? We had the Brazil beer. All right. Do a cerveza. Killed him. Who knows? He had powerful enemies. What about the police? Where are they? 
Well, the word has gone that the nearest place of the Capitura is 100 miles. This, uh, uh this Barbosa. Anybody come here with him? No, he had no family. Well, who runs his ranch for him? One bent or money. The Capataz. What you call for him. How can I get in touch with him? Well, only the mayor, senor. Sometimes you go every week. Hey, uh, maybe Armani take the bulls? You know how to get to his ranch? See? Si. How about taking me back? No. Give you a thousand cruceros. And the way is a horrible beast of the name of Gato. The beast of the seven heads. He is said to eat men alive. Twelve hundred cruceros. This bandit, they say he cut off the ears for the souvenirs. I have heard he have a sack full of ears. Eighteen hundred cruceros. That's a hundred dollars American money on delivery. You have the guide. Hey, these bulls must be of much value, huh? Much value. All right, we start tomorrow, huh? Tonight. I get the truck. What's the matter with tomorrow? Tonight. <laughs> it's a little trick I learned. <laughs> Don't try that on your head. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Think this old gato killed Barbosa? Who oh, no, knows, senor? But have no worry. I am not of the chicken liver. I alone am sufficient to take care of a gato. I, Manuel Jose Antonio Denise, Felipe Carlos Sebastián Francisco Silva. Man, you're a regiment. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Me? I'm a robber chaser. Uh, when a man have from him stolen a, a sack of flour, a pig, a wife, a cow, he pay money to me and I chase the robber. Like a private detective. Si, si, that is correct. Private detective. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> As far as we go with the truck. Oh, nice bulls. Yeah. Now what? Come on. Come on, I fix. How far is it to the Barbosa place? Oh, about 50 miles. We leave as soon as we eat. We buy cigars. We buy beer. <laughs> What's the matter with her? Oh, amigo, everyone is afraid for Manuel, the private detective, huh? <laughs> hey, man, what did the old gato? Do? <laughs> Hi. Take it easy, son. Nobody's gonna hurt you. If I could talk to you, you'd know that there was nothing to be afraid of. Here. There's gum. For you. Come on. Chew it up. It's good, huh? Amigo? That's right, amigo. Si. Amigo. You like the kids, huh? Yeah, this is my first friend in Brazil. <laughs> Your first friend? Hey, what's the matter with Manuel? <laughs> All right, my second. Huh? Yeah, that's better. Hey, the cold beer waiting for you in the store. I'll be back soon. Nice horses. Where'd you get them? I borrowed them. Yeah? How long? Ah, <laughs> senor. When Manuel borrows something he loved, he usually gets to keep it forever. 
That figures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. country for cattle with all this grass. See, I have one day count up to 18 different kinds of grass. But where the good grow easy, also grow the bad. The jungle back there can become your worst enemy. Dog belly cows we call Criollas. They very bad need new blood. That looks like my bulls have their work cut out for them. <laughs> Throw away our so valuable bulls. What are you talking about? In this river, senor, lives the tiger fish of Brazil, the piranha. Only so long, but half of him is teeth. How are we going to get across? Well, we fooled the piranha, I show you. Well, I don't know. These bulls are worth $25,000. Yeah. $25,000? Yeah. That gives great value to Manuel, no? Without me, the bulls may die, no? Huh? Ah, don't worry, don't worry. Now listen, when I give you the signal to go, you cross with the bulls, fast, huh? All right. Gun? I have one in my bedroom. Why? What's wrong? We are now on the Fazenda Figueredo. Maybe trouble. We're not hurting their land. The family of the Figueredos do not love Bent or money. Bye, amigo! All right. 
Cuba. Lady, I want those bulls back. You're my property. Get them back now. What'd you stampede those animals for? For trespassing. I didn't cut any fences. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't looking for a man named Bento Hermione to sell my stock to. Then you're twice as unwelcome. You folks aren't very hospitable around here, are you? It is normal to protect one's own interest, no matter the country, senor. What did I do wrong? You're here to help Bento Hermione. That is enough. Look, lady, I don't know what I've got myself into here. All I want to do is sell my stock and get home as soon as I can. You want to run cattle here? Fine. I want to run cattle in Texas. But perhaps I was hasty. But Barbosa and her money make my life very difficult. They're trying to steal my land. Barbosa's dead. Such a good eye. I'm Bento Hermione. Sam Den. You're the man I'm bringing the Brahmas to. We're the man from Texas. I'm glad to see you. Where's Senor Barbosa? He's dead. Yeah, I left him murdered at a saloon back in Boa Vista. He's dead. Didn't seem possible. One of your neighbors stampeded my bulls. I hope one of those cats don't get at them. Of course. How'd you find your way here? Oh, I had a guide. A fellow by the name of Manuel Silvera. What do you look like? Oh, he's a big fella, kind of dark. Speak pretty good English? Pretty good. Smoke cigars? Yeah, a little wine. He's the man that murdered Barbosa. What makes you say that? That's the exact description of the bandit, Ogato. Hello, Mariana. I see you two have met already. Yeah, lucky for me we did. He shot a cat off my back. Oh, I'm sure you'll be devoted friends. Well, once we were friends. That was a long time ago. What has changed? You have. Good day, gentlemen. Shoulder hurt? A little. You're not as tough as I thought, even for a woman. As a mere woman, I suppose that should make me feel inferior. As a mere woman, you shouldn't go around dressed like a man. You look pretty good as a woman. Came, will ya? What does that mean? Much woman. Yes, sir. She a big rancher, too? No, no, she... She has a few acres and runs a handful of wretched cattle. It's what you call in the United States a shoestring operation. Christino, there are my darlings. What do you think? Nice. This is my foreman, Christino. Meet Sam Dent. I am. How's he up? Oh, they're beautiful. They're magnificent. From them, my cows will issue cattle with size, strength, and vigor. Uh, brother and I raise them like they were kids. I understand. To me, a bull like that is the fountain of life. 
From him comes the meat to feed the world. He's the real source of power. I like a good steak myself. You must be hot and thirsty. How about a cold glass of beer? That was said real good. Teresa? Sit down, please. Teresa, we have any beer on ice? Si, it's very cold. Well, bring us two glasses. She work for you? My housekeeper. Pretty nice ranch. You're the foreman here, aren't you? Foreman? Yeah. What is it, Capitan? That's what the man said. Oh, I see what you mean. No, I was more than a foreman to Barbosa. I was his partner. He was in delicate health. I ran the ranch for him, and that way I was a foreman, yes. Yeah. It tastes good. American beer, huh? No, Brazilian. Sao Paulo. Pretty good beer. As far as you can see, the first time I saw it, I felt I'd been here before. It was like coming home. That's everything a man could ask for. Everything. A blessing. Room to grow. Here a man can dream. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Sure. I dream too, only I... I don't dream as big as you, that's all. Eventually, you want to crossbreed a Hereford strain in your herd. Oh, I thought of that, but Herefords can't stand this country. You take four or five generations of the Brahma hybrid till you get a cow that's used to conditions down here, then you crossbreed in Hereford. Take things real slow and easy, and before you know it, you have yourself a good beef machine. Now, you know, Brahmas are all right for strength and stamina, but you can't beat Hereford for beef on the hoof. It can be done? I oh, sure can be done. We do it all the time down in Texas. The Santa Gertrudis breed. They say Black Lake can't touch them. You've certainly studied cattle, haven't you? A little. That's a mighty generous offer. In fact, I appreciate it very much, but I... No, no, I can't see myself going into the cattle business down here in Brazil. Why not? It's one of the few open ranges left in the world. Together, you and I could make that King Ranch in Texas look like a dairy farm. No, I have other plans. You mind telling me? No. I have a brother, Barney, at home. We have... Oh, we dream, too, just like you. With that $25,000, we can make a down payment on a section and start an outfit of our own. Take it over, Sam. Stay with me. I'll give you a small piece of the ranch and increase your percentage every year. You tempt me. No, no thanks. Look, I'll be honest with you. Barbosa was my friend, but I don't grieve for it. My father brought me here when I was six. I went to work for Barbosa, but he had no, he had no aggression. I built this ranch with my own hands and my own sweat. When the world thinks of coffee, they think of Brazil. Coffee. The future of this country is cattle, I tell you. Now I own all this ranch and I need help. You have ideas and imagination. You love the cattle business as I do. What do you say, amigo? You with me? I think I'll turn in. I want to start back in the morning. I'm sorry. I hear Ogato has just crossed the river. Ah, uh, now we'll catch that cattle thief. You want to go with us? I promise you some excitement. It's not my fight. I'll see you later. Thank you. 
Hello, amigo. Oh, brother, you got a nerve coming here. What do you want? I have come for my money. What for? Find protection you gave me? I'm paid for the guide, not for the fighter. All right. Here you are. Now you better hightail it out of here. Central Herman and his men are looking for you. They want to stretch your neck. Seems that as a private detective, you pick up a stray cow now and then. I make the loan of a cow sometime. All right. That's your business. Right now, that bed interests me. Do you mind? Money offer you the job? That's my business. Don't take it, amigo. Why not? I like you. I do not want to have to kill you. Like you killed Barbosa? Do not believe everything you hear. You take the job? Believe me, Hermani is not a good man for you. I'm going to Texas tomorrow. Uh, the ride with the bulls was good, no? It wasn't bad at that. Goodbye, amigo. All ready? All set. Got your money? Yeah. In the bank. You won't change your mind? No. Thanks for everything. The guide's name is Eduardo. He's a good man. Sorry to see you leave. But go with God. So long, amigo. <laughs> See what you call a big one. Vamos acampar aqui. Eat, sleep. Hey, this is real good. You like? Yeah. This is for you, senor. What for? This is fine right here. No, because of snakes. Cobras. Great.
que estaba desconsolado por volver a su país a un amor por un ser muy querido que había sido el motivo de su triste padecer un día en Brasil vi una niña divina ella cambió su vida fue este amor su más dulce romance el que revivió su trance y en Brasil Good morning, senor. You feel better? Yeah, a little. Yeah, it's a real pretty song you're singing out there. You like the song? Uh, couldn't understand what the words meant. I was, I was looking it up in the dictionary. Here. Oh, I explain. It's a song about a Norte Americano who comes to Brazil. He is all alone and very homesick for his own country. Sugar? A couple things. Then he meets with a beautiful Brazilian girl. She smiles at him, and he smiles at her, and soon they are in love. And the North Americano is no longer homesick. They like Brazil very much. That could happen, you know. Oh, yes. Everybody fall in love someday. Morning. Hi. I have feeling. All right. Hey, Bento, I'm in kind of a bind. I got to get that money back. I was wondering while I'm doing it, would you put me up for a while? You don't even have to ask. My home is your home. Did you send for the police? Yes, yesterday. I take them some time to get here. Eduardo was buried this morning. Who do you think did it? I think you know. Yeah, I guess I do. It's hard to believe. Manuel. My amigo. We'll feed him to the vultures before we're through. My men are looking for him now. Don't tax your strength too soon. Bendo? I want to earn my keep while I'm here. You know that's not required. But you have complete authority to do whatever you think will help the ranch and the herds. Thanks. Where's the other one? Stolen. Last night. I think Manuel did it. Brahmas are funny animals. He might have broken through the fence himself. Perhaps. I think I'll get a horse and look around. too much? He's asking quite a lot. Listen, I've no intention of staying in this pool all day while you all go. I warn you, I'm coming out. I'm ready if you are. Sure. Sure. Oh! 
What did you expect in Brazil? A man can hope. I thought you were going back to Texas. Had my plans changed. Then you're still staying with Hermione? Might even say I kind of work for him now. You'll make an ideal pair. Bella has to have friends in a strange country. It gets kind of... kind of lonesome. You promised to be friendly. What do you call friendly? Smile. Say hello. Hello. Next time, how about a better hello than that, huh? Maybe we can call Manuel. Would you like to come? Might as well. Where's Hermione? He comes later. Professor. <laughs> The hut of Tuba Macedo. Come on. We have caught a big one! Tuba! The capitals for Mariana Figueiredo! Where's Manuel? I do not know, senor. I will unhinge his tongue, don't tell! No, 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 no. Please, senor! You come with me! Man, the girl's foreman. I don't like the way you operate, Bento. Wait a minute, sir. Be kind. No, Patron. Sing, Christina, sing. Headed fool, he loses his temper. Why don't you fire him? He's a good cattleman. They're hard to find. I don't get it. Well, I'm sorry about what happened, Sam, but it's an accident over which I have no control. Like every question, it has two sides. I want you to see mine because then you'll understand. You're a cattleman like me. Come on, Sam. says that's Manuel. It's better. Hello, amigo. It's not like the Texas fighting, eh? The jungle is my good friend. I have no interest for you, son. This man I want. I roast his liver. What for? For the murder of Tuba Macedo. He didn't do it. I speak for myself. Why you say that? He wasn't there when it happened. Maybe you lie for Bento Armani, you like him so much. How you know he's not there? Because I was there. No. That's right. You, my friend? You have part in this terrible thing. 
Then you must be punished for this murder. All right. You have the iron. Listen, Elgato, I hide behind no man. You ready? Let's get going. Sam, I'll tear your heart out. I'm not going to argue with four guns. I'll go with you. Now, don't get noble on me. No one fights my battles. You saved my hide once. I would leave you alone. Give a man a chance to get even, will you? Now, get going. Great place for guns, isn't it? Sit down, my friend. Have cigars. Very hard to get you to visit Manuel. I'd like to visit you. The jail where you belong. Uh, why are you angry for Manuel? You very lucky I not kill you. Ah, you thief. Don't ask for too much luck, senor. Why you call me thief? What about the money you took from me, the night you murdered Eduardo? You think I robbed you? Who else? You think that? It's better you shoot Manuel dead. The heart she is here, senor. What about the bull you stole? Oh, he have delighted my cows. But I no rob you. Go on, shoot. I, I don't know. I, I don't understand you people here. It's all right now, my darling. <laughs> you think I let you shoot me? <laughs> no. Hey, you have met Teresa, my sweetheart, huh? She helps kill the bull. <laughs> hey, go inside, sit down, my friend. I have Mariana brought to hear you. She's a good friend to Tuba. Yeah. Murderer. You mean what happened to your foreman? You know. Look, I'm disgusted, I'm fed up, I don't care whether you believe me or not. I had nothing to do with killing your foreman. In fact, I tried to stop it. Hey, Sam. You want to know who robbed you, no? Sure, I want to know. Teresa! You see this woman before? Yeah, at Hermione's. She know everything about the Barbosa Ranch. She tell you anything you want to know. How do you know so much about the place? I work for Senor Barbosa since I'm a little girl. He was good to me, like a father. Then her money came, and Senor Barbosa is no longer the same man. Teresa, do you know who murdered Eduardo and robbed Mr. Dent of his money? See, si. it was Cristino. I see him go after you. Was it his idea, or did somebody order him to do it? Bento Hermani gave the order. I hear with my own ears. Who ordered the death of Barbosa? Bento Hermani. Did he ever own any part of the ranch? No, no, he was only the capitas. He will never rest until he eats all the land in the valley. He's a maniac. Mm -hmm. That's your headache, not mine. Now listen to me. You have never seen my ranch. My father left it to me. It isn't much, just a few head of cattle, but that's all I've got and the only business I know. But this I tell you. The Roseros, what you call the Nestors, are moving in. They're decent and humble people. And I will not stand by and watch Ben to her money take their lives, too. All right, I know where you stand. I still don't think Hermione would rob me. You have the word of Teresa. Teresa's Manuel's woman. She'd say anything he wanted her to say. You're so stubborn. What more proof do you want? A photograph? You expect me to go gunning for a man on the say-so of one woman? I want you to do nothing. Absolutely nothing.
pecado estaba desconsolado por volver a su país a un amor por un ser muy querido que había sido el motivo de su triste padecer two people here tonight who are arguing. And I look over there. Everybody being so kind of nice and friendly. <laughs> Where'd he go? No say. Back to Bentormani, maybe. Bentormani? No, no, he couldn't. Yeah, probably. Well, but last night I, I thought he was our friend. Uh, he's a North American. It's most difficult to tell what they do next. I'm Captain Raul Gonzalves of the Capitura. You are Senorita Figueiredo? Yes, I am. I am looking for a Senor Sam Dent, a North Americano. Why do you want him? For murder, Senorita. The murder of your own foreman, Tuba Macedo.
Where's Sam Dent? Mariana, I'm glad to see you. Would you have some coffee? No, thank you. Oh, it's not a social call, eh? No, where's Sam Dent? Oh, he must be around somewhere. We just had breakfast together. He will continue to live here? Well, I hope so. He's a good man to have around. Don't you think so? Yes. Much too good for you. But not too good for the soil grubbers and the scrub cattle growers, huh? At least they came by their land honestly. They didn't kill for it. Well, neither did I. I want your land, Mariana, but I'm willing to pay a fair price for it. If I sold to you, I'd be betraying everything good in the Mato Grosso. Well, as you wish, but you've betrayed yourself. What are you going to do when the farmer kills the range? Where are you going to graze your cattle? I don't know. I only know that the farmers have the same right to live as I do. Well, I won't ask again. As for the Texan, I don't think I can do anything to relieve your jealousy. Sam. I've got to know. Now. To know what? There's violence now and more to come because men are fighting for the earth. If you stay, I think I have a right to know which side you're on. I'm not taking sides in this. I've been... Look, I've been trying to tell you that ever since I came here. Last night, I thought differently. Oh. You didn't ask anything, did you? I didn't promise anything. That's right. There was no contract. Thank you, Sam. Don't thank me. The only thing I'm interested in is getting my money back and going home just as quick as I can. That may not be as easy as you think. Sooner or later, you're going to take a stand. Hope it won't be against me. Last night, they said you were the one who was responsible for killing Barbosa and robbing me. You will believe what you wish. Padrell, come quickly. Anxious with that gun. He's got shipping fever. How long will it take you to get a veterinarian here? Just about a day. Yeah, he's running a high temperature. Got any oil of wintergreen? I think so. Get it. I want some canvas or blankets to close this place in. I want a large kettle of water and a lot of firewood. What are you going to do? I'm going to steam them. Sam. Look, Sam, you've sold the bulls to me. They're mine. Your obligation is finished. My obligation isn't finished. I'm thinking of the bull. Why don't you go get some sleep? No, I'll stay. Uh -huh. How is he? I think he's breathing easier now. Good. Well, it's a great triumph for you, Sam. I'm glad it turned out that way. Well, you found a good home, fella. Here is the earth, the grass, and the water. This is the way it was meant to be always. It's all yours, huh? I'm only here to protect it. It belongs to God. Now I'll show you something. I'll show you something obscene. Now it's Hoseros. That word means Nestor, doesn't it? 
It means the same in any language, those who defile the land. Even in your own state of Texas, look what they did. Still a few cattle left in Texas. When they plow that field, they build a fence higher than man can make it. The cattle come this far and no further. It's true. It took the almighty centuries to make that range grass. That plow can ruin it forever in one minute. It's war, Sam. I'm not going to let them destroy the range. I'll fight them as long as I have breath. Checking the results for your employer. Who started this fire? It was started by men. Their leader was a man on a white stallion. Amigo! Hi, son. Hi. I'm sorry about all this. Everything is gone, but I go on. Good soil, I farmer, I never quit. I fight Ventor Mani. I fight good. There is the future of Brazil. The future of any country. I've seen men like him in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas. They're the tough ones. I'm going to say goodbye to a man. Good to see you. Sit down. The family of Nestor's I just saw didn't have a chair left to sit on. Well, it's them or me. Why should that interfere with our friendship? I'll tell you why. Ever since I started with those bulls, I've had nothing but trouble. I've been hit on the head, I've been robbed, and now I get involved in a range war that's none of my business. I'm sorry. Oh, you stop. After all that's been going on, all you can say is I'm sorry. You, my friend, my... Now, you're nothing but a highway robber. But I wanted you to stay with me, Sam. That's why I had you held up. I don't care about the money. You didn't care anything about the guy who had his head shot off, either. That was Cristino's stupidity. It wasn't meant to be that way. You make it real easy for me, Bento. I'm with that girl against you all the way. I feel badly about what I must do. Yeah? I'm going to run you out of the country. Clear out of Brazil. But when you disappear, Mariana's land will be forfeit and sold at public auction. What are you talking about? Didn't she tell you? No, she didn't tell me. She put up the deed to her ranch to guarantee that you'd appear to stand trial for the murder of Tuba. She must love you very much. You're lucky. You were lucky. I got news for you, friend. You'll never get that ranch. I want that land very much. You do, huh? Don't move. You'll be taken to the river and then to the sea, and you'll be put on a freighter. This is going to be one of the biggest ranches in the country, and you could have been a part of it. You're a fool, Sam. Take him out. just to prove I'm not a thief. If you take it away from him, I'll cut your heart out. I wish it could have been different. 
So long, amigo. Any trouble, no? I haven't missed any so far. Quite so, a smart trick. Manuel himself might have done it. And I got a job to do. What? Get Cristino. Well, oh, Cristino's a tough woman. But if you make him talk, you put it money where he belong. Kind of hard to take him at the ranch. Does he ever go anywhere? He have a woman in the village. He visits her sometimes. Now yeah, when? Well, it's hard to say. Will you let me know? Where you be? Mariana's? Yeah. Christina left the ranch yet? No, not yet. What you think you do? You're going to the ranch to get him. This is as far as you go. Huh? I don't understand. I'm going on alone. You got snake bite, maybe? You crazy? You'd never expect anybody to come after him alone. You no afraid? Sure, I'm afraid. Somebody has to do it. Well, how about Manuel? It takes a quiet man, amigo. Oh. I'm afraid also. For you, amigo. Cristino might feed you to the piranha fish. He might. Good luck, amigo.
Who? Get off. Over there. Kneel down. Why you kill me? I'm a vaquero. I work for a boss. I do what he say. Ben to remind yourself or to rob you? It's not my idea. Don't kill me. What about Tuba? It's a mistake. But her mind, you say, I must find Manuel. What about the burning out of the farmers? She always gives the order. If I let you live, will you tell that to the police? Say, I will say everything, anything you want. All right, get on your horse. But remember, if you don't talk, I'll be right behind you. Come on, let's go. speak English? I've been looking for you, Americano. What for? For the murder of Tuba Macedo. I didn't kill Tuba. Here's your man right here. All right, go ahead. Tell him what you told me. Go on, talk! I say something? He used gun, brought me here. I don't know. You took him by force? Why? You are my prisoners in your dent. Hola! You have the wrong man, Capitan. I cannot leave you to take it. It is of no concern to you. No, Capitan, you have made mistake. You expect alone to hold up the force of the Capitura? Ah, but I am not alone, mi Capitan. Look, my friend Jorge. He would not like you to take away Senor Dent. And Alvaro. And Antonio. And Afonso, all my friends, they have this strong feeling for Senor Dent. This is your murderer, animal. Hey, son, let me have little conversation with this tough woman. I have much confidence I can teach him to talk. Maybe I have a better idea. Oh, Sam, old friend. You are like the child in such matters. With me, I have made this study. Oh, my horse. All right, let's go. You should get at least five years in prison for this. Saying, saying. I wonder what he's doing. Hey, you look after them. I come back. No! You won't talk! No, por favor, señor Ben! No te pirate! No! You are the genius. He'll talk. I won't talk. No. 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 It is a man very lonesome. He wished to talk with someone. It's true, Capitan. All true. Bento and you gave the command for to rob and to kill. He said to do anything to find Manuel. So I killed two. And we burned the Hoseidos. We burned the Hoseidos. Oh. Looks like everybody's pulled out. My guess is Hermione's around here somewhere, alone. 
Please tie my prisoner. With your permission, Capitan, I take care of him. Venga. Wow. You don't know how to get off horse yet? My little rabbit gone down the hole? Bento Hermani. Get off my land. I intend to take you to jail. Don't come any closer. Do not resist the law, senor. Sam? Go back, Sam! I don't want to kill you! Go back, Sam! <laughs> 